Good morning and happy Monday, everybody. So we are feeling a bit happier today. John Louise's saturations have been at the highest in her range. Her, her range is 75 to 85. She's been around 80 to 85, so she's doing good. But I don't feel comfortable with her doing school swimming lessons today. So she's gonna go and spend the morning with a different class. So we are a bit late to school, but I didn't want to send her all the way to school just to bring her back and then send her back again, because that's not gonna do her any good. But how are you feeling, princess? I am happy, because I like sunny things. Yeah, it's actually a beautiful day, which is helping. So if it was grey and this rule, that would not be fun. And Dawn Louise, what have you been reading this morning? A comic book that's called The Flash. He's one of our favourite superheroes. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to go get this little one to school. So catch and later. also, that comic book belongs to my mummy, but she's It does, it was my birthday present. Hello. Yes. Can I tell you that? Hey everybody, so you're going to have to excuse us, we're very, very hot, so we're not looking so great. Uh, we need to buy some fans. I'm tired. Um, Dawn Louise ended up leaving school early today because she felt tired and had a headache. Um, and with what happened last week and us not being sure when she needs oxygen, it made more sense to bring her home. She only had 20 minutes left of school anyway, so it wasn't such a big deal. Her saturations are pick not picking up very well, but they, after a while when she sits still long enough, they are going into the 80s, so we're clear at the moment. After I picked her up from school, we got a call back from the cardiologist and he is going to rush her appointment down from October to this Wednesday. Um, so in this vlog you will see what the doctor actually says, her heart doctor says, about everything that's been going on because I am very worried because she hasn't been this sick over and over in a very, very long time. Nor has she looked so well and had low saturation so i do feel safer getting her seen than just leaving it it's been six months since her last cardiology appointment when she was pre-fontan pre her last surgery four years ago she was getting seen every six months now she gets seen every nine months it's quite a long time to go without seeing a cardiologist if you have concerns um so yeah thankfully he's going to see us thankfully he is in clinic this week it does mean we could stay there um waiting to be seen for a good few hours because he is pushing us in um now and not like an advanced appointment normally with it like a couple of weeks before so hopefully it won't be too busy but he's told us to bring a pack lunch and some coloring books and things like that to keep her occupied because we could be waiting for long but the fact that he's seeing us so soon after i left the message asking him to call us i definitely do appreciate him seeing us the same week as that so i'm not going to complain about a long wait and i don't think dawn louise will either because she knows how important this is and also my college Cardiologist. 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 I can't even say it. <laughs> Cardiologist. Um, he knows me very well because he always sees me like every six months. Every nine months now. But he, had, he did see her at six months from when she was a baby till a couple of years ago. So yeah, he's, seen her, he's, he's known her for a long time now. And I yes. do feel like the safest thing that we can do is see him. Yes. and just get her clothes and stuff done just to make yes. sure, I mean she's already had a chest x-ray she's yes. already had blood taken yes. so at least that's one thing out the way, yes. or two things out the way actually well, yeah <laughs> and um, then after I picked this little one up from school we went over to Specsavers and I've ordered my glasses and I will be going to pick them up on Monday, Monday. which is bonkers, like I was not expecting to need glasses and I've got to admit I've got to admit I don't think they're going to suit me, but they were the only ones that I at least slightly liked in my price range. I did not want to spend £65 on a pair of glasses. I have so many other things I'd rather spend money on, so I'd rather, since I'm not, like, Dawn Louise has to wear her glasses all the time, so I will happily pay for hers to be expensive, and if I was wearing them 24-7, then yeah, I would too, but since I only have to wear it, you know, whenever I feel like I need to, which I don't think is going to be very often because I didn't even notice I need glasses. So I feel like ugly glasses are better than no glasses. So I've gone for an ugly pair and they cost me £25. But they're not too bad. I think the problem is, one of the reasons why I did not want to have glasses is because I have a really big pet peeve about seeing, like, boxes around my eyes. Um, like, I, I've gone to, like, 40 cinemas and that's where I realised that this pet peeve exists for me. Because what I don't like is that it looks like you're constantly like this. And, like, if you go like that and you can see your fingers constantly, can't you? That's what wearing glasses is like. And it annoys me for some reason. It drives me up the wall. It's like nails on a chalkboard. It makes me, my skin feel really uncomfortable. Like, I do not like it whatsoever. Um, but I think yeah. I'll get used to it eventually. But, like, I did want a pair like Dawn Louise's. As you can see, the bottom of hers are very, very thin. So, like, if, if I put her glasses on, they don't bug at me as much. But these ones are, like, all the way 
around so i do think that for now they'll do and then what i'll do is i'll save up a little bit each week and get someone get a pair that i'm more happy with um later yes. on um i might get some sunglasses as well i'm not sure because they were like when are you going to use them and i was like i don't know i was kind of hoping you were going to tell me that since you're the optician so they just said use it whenever you need to and when i start wearing glasses they said that i need to buy um I, I can get the same glasses, but I need to pay an extra thirty pound on top, oh. which is then fifty five pounds for one pair of glasses, so that I can get this like sheer thing. So like, I don't know what it's called. Like I, I, I've forgotten what she called it, but basically that you don't get like glare and stuff. They said when I start driving, if I start driving, then to use that. But like I don't really expect to be driving anytime soon. Next year I would like to start doing driving tests. But I know that I can't afford a car right now, and being a carer, it's not like my income's going to go up. So if anything, it's going to go down. Yeah. So I don't think I'm going to be getting a car anytime soon. Um, definitely not in the next five years, I don't think. I think I won't be able to get a car until Dawn Louise is not in need of a carer, to be honest. Hey, when I. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to be doing um, buying a car anytime soon. I probably won't be able to get one until I have a proper job. Um, until I have, you know. Um, have a slightly bigger income. I don't think I'm going to be able to afford an actual car, but I would at least like to learn how to drive because both my mum and brother have cars, and you know, one day they might need my help. So there's that. Um, but yeah, it'd be nice to like, be able to rent cars if I ever need one as well. Like if I need to take things to the tip, or we, I don't know, bought bigger furniture or something. I don't know. Um, I, I don't know. I'd, I'd like to at least know how to drive. So if that is going to happen, I'm going to need glasses on the whole time I'm driving I think I think that's what they said so yeah but what's bugging me is I'm starting to notice that it's really obvious this eye is bigger than this eye this eye is bigger it's longer front to back and I think you can tell to be honest like if I look straight at the camera I think you can tell and I know that I could tell before I went in because everyone kept saying I was crazy because I was like I was like can you feel my eye it feels swollen because this eye honestly just feels like it's swollen and apparently it's, it's just changed shape so but I can feel it which is really bizarre um but yeah, it's changed shape and that's why I need glasses, so yeah. Anything you want to say? I hope you're all having a great, great Monday. And honestly, um, if you're tired, I don't blame you guys. <laughs> like me. It's really hot today, I wasn't expecting it to be that hot. Oh, I have got some things to show actually. So, I've got Dawn Louise, some new ballet dance socks. They look really big, they're not as big as they look though. Once they're on, they'll, they'll look different. And then I also got... This in the mail. This is a passport organizer in my favorite color. They had a pink one as well, but both of, basically you put like multiple, pop, can you open this for me? Sure. Um, it's to put both of our passports in and like flight tickets and stuff like that. Um, I've never had one before and it was only two pounds, so I'm really happy. Wait, they have a pink one? Yeah, but you, we're gonna share it, so. But yeah, what I plan to do is get some like decal personalized stickers to stick on it and make it all snazzy because it was only two pounds. Sweetie, you just, it, it's stuck. You, need, you just, you just pull it, pull it up. I know. So yeah, um, I thought it was quite a good little buy. While she's ripping her teeth into that, <laughs> um, I also got our stuff for our rabbit, so ignore that. Um, but I got these for, for our rabbit because she loves chewing on things and she's not very good with toys. She has three toys and she's had them for years and still won't play with them, so I don't buy her toys. But these she can chew and there's bunny safe. So I thought this was a good idea. And then I bought this really funky shopping bag from Wilkinson's. And since it's so pink and beautiful, I'm gonna give it to Dawn Louise to like store like teddies or um, like school bags and things in, in her wardrobe, which she didn't know apparently. Oh, you're the best. It's just, it's just a shopping bag, but thanks. Well, still, it's so lovely of you. Um, what else, what else did we get? Oh, and we got, we got, we got potato milk. Let's have a look. So that's what it looks like. Is that a pouch at the bottom or just a line? Oh no it is. There's a pouch at the front for emergencies. And then it's got these pockets here, which I think are the ones that you put the passports in. Oh, there's a zippy pocket. So this is obviously the side where you put all the passports. So obviously there's only two in ours because there's only two of us. Because we're a teeny tiny family. Yes. But I love you, you're my best friend. Me too. I think it was the book day, wasn't it? Let's see if she likes the new toys. I think she likes them. Oh, she she's got three different types of things to chew on. They've all they made of different materials. Oh, she likes them! Yay! We've got her this donut toy, which she never plays with, and we got her this chew thing, which she didn't even bother to eat. And then she's got this thing, which is actually getting dusty, so I need to clean it off. 
But yeah, she doesn't normally play with toys, so I, I'm glad that we found these balls. Sweet girl. She oh, she's night. been chewing up her toys. She's been you. With the last night. Have you been playing with your toys? Have you, Miss Lola? Yeah, last night. She's a good girl. Oh, she's a good girl. She's playing okay to mess. I only cleaned this out yesterday. <laughs> I'm such a messy animal. Hello. Yeah, That's Tuesday everybody, so Dawn Louise is doing okay, we are excited to see the doctor and find out what's going on, but uh, yeah, she's got dance today and she still wants to go, so, see you later. <laughs> okay, so, I wouldn't normally pick up the camera straight away when something happens, but I just I need to get it out. Um, Dawn's been at school for about 45 minutes and I've already got a call from the school and she's saying that she's tired which you know for most kids it wouldn't be a problem but for her it could have been something really bad is gonna happen because the last time that she was tired all the time like she is at the moment she needed surgery again and it, that wasn't so scary because we knew that she was needing another stage of surgery anyway but there are no surgeries left there isn't any there isn't any more stages to fix her heart condition because you can't even fix it anyway it's just palliative but there's no more stages to make it any better for her um the only option we've got is to close oh, i'm going so red i'm sorry the only option we've got is to close the fenestration and see if that helps but if we do that she's not going to be able to get a transplant in the future unless she's very 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 lucky because closing the fenestration can lead to kidney and liver failure and um, for some reason she's more likely for those and I just, I just can't wait to see the cardiologist tomorrow and just find out what to do with her because at the moment I feel so confused and I don't know what to do and I can't trust my normal judgments and Dawn Louise isn't the kind of child that would bunk off school so we know that she's being honest because she loves school and she's not telling them that she's tired to come home. She's struggling at school and she's feeling tired and that's what's causing the struggle. Um, and I'm just, I've already lost at the moment to be honest because normally I know when she's okay and I know when she needs help. <sighs> And I don't know that anymore. I can't. I can't. I can't just go with, you know, how she looks like I used to because we missed it. We missed her situations dropping because the stats probably wouldn't pick up properly. And I didn't have one at home at the time because we'd lost it on the school trip because we were rushing to get home. And I think I dropped it in the mud that I was trying to get her wheelchair through. I've got another one now. But like, you know, they take a couple of days to get delivered, so it's not like you can just go down the shop and buy one. And I am... Um, I'm just really worried that we're missing something. I'm worried that something's happening inside her, or with her heart, that we're not picking up because it's not showing on the outside, because she does have an invisible illness. You know, it isn't sitting on the surface, you can't see it, you can't hear it. You just have to wait and guess. And this is why I didn't want to wait till October for her cardiology appointment. And I am really thankful that he's going to see us this week. Because I don't think I can handle not knowing any longer. Because I'm never...
never seen her struggle this much. <laughs> and even though she is still herself and she's still really active, she is um she is struggling in some parts. And um one of the other things that I've noticed lately is that it is taking her a long time to eat her food, which it always has. But I'm just wondering if maybe I'm just wondering if maybe she's um she's struggling more than I think and more than I can see with the eating. Because that's another sign that she that oh, her heart's not working properly. It's her not being able to eat properly. And the last time that she was taking this long to eat, she was waiting for her next surgery, but there are no next stages. It's like I don't know. I don't know if there is something wrong. I don't know if there is anything they can do to fix it. Because there aren't any more stages. There's only three stages. She's had four open heart surgeries already. They've done so much to her heart already. And um, she's not supposed to go into heart failure until like, her early teens. Like she should she should make it to at least her early teens because they said fourteen when she was younger, and because she had the font the fenestrated font and they thought she'd have it a bit longer than that too. I just can't help looking at her and her seeing her looking so well and then just realizing that she might actually not be, because obviously I'm not a doctor, I'm just a parent. I don't know everything about the medical world and I I only know what I've you know, learn along the way with her heart condition, so I look a right mess, I'm so sorry. I swear to god I'm allergic to my own tears because my face just does not like it at all. <laughs> it gets really blotchy and itchy. I don't know if I'll even put this in to be honest. It was just I don't want people to realise how hard they work to just live. I want them to realise that it's not as easy as it looks. I don't know what to do to make her life better. I don't know what to do to make it easier for her because like for the last four years she's been doing dancing every week and now for the last like year she's been doing something nearly every day of the week am I doing too much for her I don't know you know she handled it really well to begin with maybe it is getting too much for her but I know how much she loves her dancing and everything else. I don't want to have to tell her she has to stop. Because she's so passionate about her dancing. I'm so proud of how far she's come. When they said that she never get to do it. I just want her to be comfortable, you know. I don't want her to be in pain. I don't want her to be tired. I don't want her to struggle. I don't want her to struggle. <laughs> At around half eleven, I got a call from the school. Dawn Louise's saturations had dropped by the time I got to her and we had to call another ambulance for her. You're playing some Jenga? Yeah. <laughs> Due to no one knowing what was causing Dawn Louise's saturations to drop, we were admitted for a night. And the hardest part of her being admitted was meaning I would have to go home to pack her bags and leave her on her own.
Hi guys, I'm in a hospital and it's night time. I'm saying every night. <laughs> and I've got a tube in my nose and I'm worry. I had it like probably whilst I've been like a baby. So that's that. There's no problem. And it's tickling, but it looks like I'm having stuff. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't mean like a tube. And, um, yeah. Where's my little berry? Hello. Because you've been so brave today and it's been a hard day, I'll get you a little surprise on the way back. <gasps> Do you want to open that bit? No, open the packet up. Oh my goodness me. Oh my god. Wow, that's cool, isn't it? And not just that. You can a lolly. Is it lip gloss? Do you want me to open it? Is it like so up? Can you? And it looks like a lolly. That looks. It looks kind of like a candy cane present, doesn't it? Or like a bonbon sweet. Can um, you find out what he's called if you open that? Let's have a look. That's quite cool, isn't it? Mhm. This one doesn't smell as nice though. I don't like. The, I don't like the way that smells. Chocolate snooze. Chocolate snooze. Mm. It's not, it's minty whip, minty chip. Minty chip. Minty, yeah, minty chip. He's there. Oh, it's that one there. Wait, minty it, look. It's got a bow. Yeah, look, min she is minty chip. Minty chip. Wow. I've got um, SV snacks and. Minting crisp. Wow. This is so lovely. Hello. Oh, hello. Sorry, I got a little surprise. I was just. Yeah. Oh, what have you got? It's like um, a little num num collect, and it comes with lo lip glosses. And I've that got I can't get open. <laughs> it looks like that. And then inside it looks fresh. It smells like you can put a little bit on for tonight. Don't stick your fingers into it though, just rub it gently. Good morning everybody, it is now Wednesday morning, we spent the night in hospital but Don Rose is off oxygen now and she's feeling really good and soon we'll get some answers at the cardiologist appointment. And also, we, I got some like toys and games to play with, me and my mummy are going to play the shopping list game and this is actually really good because it's like you just fold the, um, the cards like there's some cards and then there's like a basket or a trolley two trolleys and two baskets you have two each and two lists each as well and then you can put the little cards place them down so you're not peeking and then you have to and then it goes one person goes first and if it's not on their list they have to place it down again so that's how the game works. Hi everybody, thank you for all of the messages from you guys and honestly I feel so happy and I feel so much better now and also just want to say a big, big, huge thank you. I can't even <laughs> hope you're having a great day too. That is what my mattress looks. 
without no sheets. And I'm so excited. <laughs> Let's just get it. My mum's just put in some sheets, like some blankets to keep me warm. <laughs> and she's not made a big bed before. It's going to be like that. So this is what it oh. This is what it looks like. And it's more mum. <laughs> so it looks like that. And you can see here my own eyes. It's actually dangling at the bottom. Like right there. So. Yeah. And this is really good. Yeah. So let's finish making the way fresh a bed and then we're gonna see if we can find something to watch on the TV here. Yeah. And we've got like four hours till our appointment, it's quarter yeah. to nine, so it's gonna be a while. We have TVs and there's a remote that my mummy has. It's a keyboard. Who would ever want a remote keyboard? That's pretty weird, isn't it? And she said, and it up, there's like a little phone. If she needs to call somebody, she could use their phone or her phone. I don't know. One of the two. But yeah, we are doing good. And this is my mummy's like hairband. But it's like a wrist. It's like a bracelet. It lets me wear it. That's what it looks like. Mmm. Too late, darling. I'm four hours making it in the middle. I'm so excited because we're doing our scrubs. <laughs> oh, careful. So we've just left the ward and now we're heading down to Dawn's cardiology appointment to see her cardiology. We're just in the teenager room having a little lunch because... We're going to get discharged soon after my mummy has learnt how to do how to use um, the oxygen tank. Home! By the way, sorry my hair looks a mess. I couldn't wash it, so fun. But we got our money back. Whoop, whoop. Mm. I was in hospital tonight for two days. Because yesterday I was at hospital, first started, and now second time. And then I'm in my turn. Yay! So much better. I wish you could go come with us, but. Okay, so you're gonna have to excuse how I look. Um, I still haven't been able to wash my hair because we just got back and we've been so tired. So I'm gonna do that in the morning. She does have school tomorrow and then she has an incident on Friday. So that's kind of good to be honest because then if she's still tired tomorrow, but she's only got a day left, so that helps. 
Um, but I'm just about to go check her saturations before I head off to bed and then I'll catch you guys tomorrow. I'm feeling so much better now. This week's video is obviously going to be very emotional. So if it upsets anyone, I am sorry. I purely am doing this for awareness because, you know, if a photo can speak a thousand words, a video can hopefully do so much more than that and literally put you in our shoes for the day. Um, but yeah, she's sleeping really soundly and she just looks so peaceful and it's just lovely to see her back in her own bed. I know we only spent one night in the hospital, but I just, I can't explain the sort of peace that I feel just knowing that she's here, she's safe and she's settled, you know. And she's got a little Lola bunny staring at me and keeping an eye on her. She's like a little bodyguard, bless her. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go check her out.